Stewie is coming to New York. Former WNBA MVP and arguably the biggest free agent prize in league history, Brianna Stewart has agreed to sign with the Liberty on the first official day of WNBA free agency. And SNY's Maria Marino is here to discuss all things Stu York. All right, I'm done with the puns. Uh, first question, uh, what do you think were the biggest factors in getting her here to sign with the Liberty? This is so exciting, but I think for, for Stewie, the first thing was just making sure that she was going to go to a team that was set up for success on the court. And the Liberty really have been building the right way. They had last been to the playoffs in 2017 before the Sabrina Unescu era, you know, when she was drafted in, in 2020. And they've already been contending. They, they got to the playoffs in 21. Last year, they won their first playoff game. And they just have a lot of really nice pieces. But I think the other huge factor for Brianna Stewart, aside from the fact that she is from uh, New York, albeit Syracuse, is that she wanted to go to an ownership group that was really serious about putting player health and well-being at the forefront. And Joe and Clara Wu Sai, who are also involved in the Brooklyn Nets, are that way. And in particular, with regard to this fight for charter travel, and this is something that has been uh, important to Stewie. She's been vocal about it recently, and I think just having owners that were willing to invest in their WNBA team, you know, as soon as they bought the Liberty, they were like, let's play at Barclays. Let's uh, invest in a brand new state-of-the-art facility and beautiful locker room, and now let's try to find a, a solution so that WNBA players can fly charter. Those are all things that definitely caught Stewie's eye. And that's huge because, I mean, when you're a professional athlete, you want to feel like you were playing for a professional organization, especially with some of these basketball players who were coming from colleges where they flew charter and now they're playing professionally uh, flying commercials. So let's talk about her game. How do you see her fitting into this roster and, and what is she, what is she going to bring to this team? Well, Brianna Stewart is a player that you really don't have to do much to figure out how she's going to fit. She's somebody that you just get and you figure it out. But what makes her special is she's just so versatile. She's got the body of a big, but she can score literally anywhere on the floor at will. And the Liberty already added via trade this offseason, John Quell Jones, another former MVP. What's going to be so magical about those two is they're both bigs who can spread the floor. They'll do damage in the paint, but they can also shoot the three. Then you throw in Sabrina Unescu, and also Maureen Johannes is another one who can dish the rock uh, so well. It's going to be just probably beautiful basketball to watch. And then you have the, the other pieces as well. Benaja Laney is another former all-star who can put the ball on the floor. Stephanie Dolson is another really smart big that was added last year in free agency. So the Liberty, I got to hand it to them, they have been building the right way. And now they are in a position to contend. They've been building the right way. They're in position now. You mentioned all those stars <laughs> and pieces. I'm going to ask you straight up, Maria, is it championship or bust for the Liberty this year and why? So I'm going to say that it's not quite championship or bust only because I mentioned the progression. You know, they made it to the playoffs. They won a playoff game last year. Now, certainly with the players that I've talked about, they – should contend for a championship. And I think they should at least make it to the finals. But you got to remember, this is a Liberty team that has not made it to the finals in over 20 years. So we do have to have, I think, a, a tiny bit of patience. But that being said, this is absolutely a team that can challenge the likes of the Las Vegas Aces. And they should be making it to the finals. I'm not going to say it's a bust if they don't win it all, but they are in a great position now to win, if not this year, then in the very near future. I'm going to put it out there. It's going to be Aces <laughs> Liberty. Aces Liberty in the WNBA championship. I can't wait for that. And I don't want to write off any other team, but, I mean, these are two super teams we got going here. Uh, Maria, thanks for joining us, and uh, we're, we're going to be coming back to you for more on the WNBA this year.